What is the difference between Scrum and Kanban? It's a really good question to actually know a deep answer for. In this article, what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore the answers to this question. And you're not gonna hear from me, you're gonna hear from some very good friends of mine. But we've got Simon, who's a CEO, we got JG, who's a, a mad researcher, and we've got Kieran, who is a UX expert and very much in the product owner space. Let's get out there and talk to some people. Let's go visit Kieran and JG. I would describe Scrum as, uh, as an agile methodology that focuses on specifically an iterative view of, of a routine that a team will adopt uh, that typically has certain bits of ceremony such as grooming and uh, retro, uh, demo, whatever the sort of works for the team um, and releasing often uh, as well being an agile methodology but particularly it lives within a particular iteration which I call a sprint often two weeks and that the formalness of, of having that you know some teams might even have a scrum master or whatever so there's a sliding scale in terms of what scrum how that can be implemented um, but that iterative view, that lens is, is primarily how I would see Scrum as being an agile methodology for a team. Scrum is an agile software development framework. It uses sprints or iterations to deliver software, working software, in set time frames. So sprints can be uh, anything between two to four weeks. Scrum, to me, is a means of experimenting with software. So it means that you want to build something, but you don't really quite know what. And now the question is, how do you know you're on the right track? Um, and how do you know how far you should have gotten here? Scrum sort of allows you to create gauges for that and watch them. And for that, um, you create points where you commit to yourself and where you show what you've got. So it's usually working for somebody else who has a question, is this even possible? And then you try to break that. What is the thing you want down? And regularly you show them, well, this is what we now know to be possible. Do you want to go on or not? So that's why I see Scrum as experimentation. And it has these points of conversation which are larger granular, so where you present to the client, this is what this iteration that we had agreed on has actually yielded. Are you happy with it? Do you want to, do you want to go for another round, for another jump? Have you changed your mind? Kanban is another agile software development framework, but it allows software to, to be developed in one large cycle using a, a pull method um, of managing the, the amount of development in a period of time. Kanban is, a, is an enormous amount of little pebbles all flowing along. It's carried forward by um, participants' positive attitude. So it means that you want to do this thing. If you want to do this thing, fine, you get yourself another job. You go to the list of tickets that are there, pick up another little pebble, another little piece, and you carry that pebble and drop it into somebody else's who also wants that pebble. So you've carried that pebble a part of the way and you're happy doing these little things. It's, it's a quality of life. At the end, you will see that somewhere very far down the track, suddenly there is a mountain of pebbles and you're part of this little carrying exercise that produces something great, something positive with, with nice quality. So I would describe Kanban as the absence of a particular sort of iterative or routine concept. So rather than going in a cycle, it's really just a linear sense of pulling in the most important piece of work and getting it through all the, the, the steps and gates and, and having parallel, parallelized work going through that as well. And as opposed to Scrum being a set of iterative sprints or iterations that are going through, the Kanban is like, we've got this figured out, we just pull work through as it's required and work on it and we stay agile in terms of knowing what's at the top of the backlog, we can just keep pulling stuff as needed. But it does mean that without that particular routine, you can you can decouple a lot of ceremony or particular bits and pieces that you do as part of your team because it is linear. So between Scrum and Kanban specifically, I do see the, the largest difference being the concept of the iteration 
and the routine. So I do see Kanban as being a little bit more free, potentially, a little bit more free flow, uh, but that can be a massive strength for a team where that works. And then for Scrum to just be a little bit more of a particular iteration to see everything through. And of course, how that affects um, higher up management or people with that are looking at a certain project's progress, et cetera, like that, that might come into play in terms of Scrum giving them something that that a project manager can look at in this sort of iteration. Those building blocks might be important for a variety of reasons. But I see Kanban is sort of taking a lot of, abstracting a lot of that stuff away and just pulling in the most important piece of work w when someone's available to do it and going through the steps. I would say the biggest difference is the customer relationship. Kanban works well within organizations where you don't have a defined customer and Scrum works better when you have a single person speaking for the customer. If you don't have that single person speaking for the customer, often you have to default to Kanban. Scrum has a, an emphasis on teamwork, the, the daily stand-ups, for example. Scrum allows the delivery of software in the shortest period of time. Kanban is, is more visual. Um, the Kanban board allows a, a, a visual representation of, of um, the work in your, in your funnel. The goal of Kanban is to, to deliver smooth and optimal delivery. All right, that was awesome. Um, great to talk to those guys about um, a very important topic that was close to my heart and I hope you guys enjoyed the article.